Hello, Christ and St. Luke's families. Here we are in the garden for Children's Chapel once again. It is the 19th Sunday after Pentecost. We are still green. We are still green, but friends, I forgot. Today is a special day. Hang on just a minute. Friends, look what I have. It is a bread cloth. And I bet you're wondering what special day would require a red cloth. Well, today is the feast day of St. Luke the Evangelist, and he is our patronal saint. So this is our patronal feast day, which is a lot of big words to say that St. Luke, because our name is Christ in St. Luke's, is our patron saint. And a patron is someone who takes special care to look out for certain people and things. So St. Luke is our patron saint, and today is his feast day. So we are red because red is the color of the Holy Spirit. And St. Luke was one of those people who was filled with the Holy Spirit. So let's switch our cloths today. How's that friends? There we are, red cloth. It's not often that we use red. There are very few times that we use red, especially during the regular church year. And if you went to any other church this morning that was not named St. Luke, you'd probably still see green because everyone else is doing green. But today we celebrate St. Luke and we are red. So my friends, let's stand up, take a deep breath and start with our opening acclamation. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Friends, will you pray? Oh, let's sing first. And I was thinking about the Holy Spirit. And one of my favorite songs about the Holy Spirit is you got to sing when the Spirit says sing. So are you ready? Standing up. Deep breath. Fill yourself with oxygen and the Holy Spirit. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta shout when the Spirit says shout. You gotta shout when the Spirit says shout. When the Spirit says shout, you gotta shout right along. You gotta shout when the spirit says shout you gotta dance when the spirit says dance you gotta dance when the spirit says dance when the spirit says dance you gotta dance right along you gotta dance when the spirit says dance you gotta pray when the spirit says pray you gotta pray when the spirit says pray when the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray right along. You gotta pray when the Spirit says pray. My friends, will you pray with me? Almighty God, you know everything about us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may love you, know you, and praise you. Amen. So friends, for our story today, it is of course a story about Jesus. But also, it is the story that we read for St. Luke to celebrate St. Luke. I wonder if you will listen to this, and then I'm going to share with you a little bit about St. Luke. I wonder if you'll see how this story connects to St. Luke. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus came back from the desert filled with the power of the Spirit. Everyone was talking about him, and they asked him to come and teach in their synagogues. When he came to the synagogue in Nazareth, his hometown, 
he stood up to read the scroll of Isaiah that had been given to him. He found the part that read, God has anointed me with his Holy Spirit and sent me to bring good news to people who need it most. I've been sent by God to put people back together whose hearts are broken, to let prisoners know they are free people, to release people from whatever is holding them back, to let them know that this time is God's time. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The people couldn't take their eyes off him. Then he said, Today you have heard this scripture come true. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, 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 thanks be to God. Friends, Jesus goes back to the town that he grew up in and he tells the people in the synagogue that he is the one that all the scriptures before have said was coming. He's the guy. He's the one that's here to heal our broken hearts, to set the prisoners free, to make us whole again. Now I want you to know some people did not like hearing that and some people were just filled with wonder that this could be the person God has promised. So our friend St. Luke that we celebrate today, he was a physician or a doctor. He was also an artist. Can you imagine? And one of the really big things he did was to write the Gospel of Luke, which we just heard our story from. And he also wrote a book, like a sequel. So first he wrote the Gospel according to Luke, and then he wrote a second book called the Acts of the Apostles. And that is the story of what happens to the followers of Jesus after Jesus goes back to heaven and how they started the church and how people like Paul traveled all over the world to spread the good news that Jesus was giving. And Luke was the person who traveled with Paul and helped him spread that news by writing down the things that Paul said and did. Wow, right? Big job. So what a special name for our church. You know, we're Christ, like Jesus, and St. Luke's. Because you know here at Christ and St. Luke's, there are some things that are very important to us. We love the arts. We have very special music, don't we? We have our choristers, we have our choir, we have Mr. Kevin and Miss Marge, and they just make the church sound so beautiful. And it's so uplifting when we come to church on Sunday with all of that beautiful music. We also have an incredibly beautiful architecture. And if you were here right now inside our building, look on Sunday, they are doing work to clean all the stone in our building so it's more beautiful. I think St. Luke would be happy about that because when we come to church and we are filled with the Holy Spirit by the beautiful music we listen to, by the beautiful building we're in, that helps us get ready to go out into the world and tell other people about how much God loves them. It's a hard job and it's not always easy, but it's an important one. And I'm so glad I'm at a church that is named Christ and St. Luke's. And those things are important here to the people who come to this church. So friends, think about this week, about being St. Luke and traveling the world with Paul and telling people about the good news of Jesus. Shall we do our I Believe prayer? Get your eyes ready. I believe in God above, 
I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too, comes to show me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord like thee. My friends, let's do our five finger prayers. Let's start on our thumbs, praying for people close to us. God of love, hear our prayer. Point your fingers, praying for our church, especially on this day where we remember our patronal saint, Luke the Evangelist, praying for the church. God of love, hear our prayer. Your tallest finger, praying for the world. The world needs our prayers, friends. God of love, hear our prayer. Ring finger, praying for those who are sick. God of love, hear our prayer. Pinky finger, a prayer for ourselves. God of love, hear our prayer. One last prayer, the I'm sorry prayer. You can do it on your pinky, you can do it on your big toe, whatever you want things that you need to tell God about that maybe you didn't do so well this week and things you're going to work harder to do better at next week. The I'm sorry prayer, friends. God of love, hear our prayer. Friends, I always love singing and praying with you. I hope you have a wonderful week. When you're finished watching this video, you know, you know what your job is. Go hug everyone in your house and tell them that you love them. I hope you remembered last week to thank them. And remember that you are greatly loved. So for our last song, I thought we would sing Our God is an Awesome God. And if you've been at Church for Children's Chapel, this is one that we've been learning. So are you ready? Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Friends, have a great week. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.